thank you for watching Aviv Tarot and today we are going to do a flip through okay of this new deck that I just received okay um, it's actually it's quite different because most of the uh, Oracle cards that you know that you can get are from are in English and this is the first deck that I have that's in Chinese okay but it doesn't really matter if you actually understand chinese this the 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 saying on the cards is hilarious um <laughs> and very like appropriate and and like very direct and blunt okay so if you could read chinese it's like a a, a little bonus because then you can you can actually read what's going uh, what's written on the card but um if not i think uh, a lot of the readers you read um, cards intuitively anyways so like whether it's in chinese or in any other languages it doesn't really matter but the only thing is this is a self-produced card okay so then um if you wish to buy this deck you would have to purchase it through um their facebook page okay their facebook fan page and fill out an order form and and then you can paypal them the uh the money yeah so you can tell you can see this was uh shipped from taiwan to me all right and um so that's what yeah i literally just got it <laughs> so if you wish to get it i will put the link to this uh, Oracle cards down below so then you can get a copy for yourself um, there will be a little bit of shipping fee if you are going to ship it outside of Taiwan um, it won't be a lot it's like pretty minimal I think I don't know about the US but I know if they ship it to like China other like Singapore Malaysia I think it's a little bit under ten dollars like six or seven dollars but to to the u.s it might be a little bit more okay so you will have to ask them about that but um let's take a look at the flip through also i think even if you're not a, a card reader i think you can still get this card oh only if you could read chinese of course because um the cards do have a lot of like uh messages right in the back about um you know little things to to help you to guide you through your daily daily life um dilemmas okay um but you know doesn't really matter if you read chinese or not uh we'll do a little flip through so that you can see what the cards look like these are old um hand drawn by um the artist that they worked with okay so it's uh their own design or art and here's the qr code so if you want to you know scan it and then uh instead of typing it out uh to their facebook page or something like that um you can do that okay so i think this is just like a daily oracle card all right so and it's really interesting too because right here it's it says it's negative energy life guidance card because they're like are you tired of um always trying to be positive all the time right and so this is doing it the opposite but it's still trying to provide you uh, a guidance through really direct and blunt wordings okay so these are the cards. Um, if there are things that are that are kind of interesting, I will tell you like what it says on the bottom. Um, if you can't read Chinese, um, but we'll just do a quick flip through of all of the pictures. All right. So this is the first one. Oh, there are fifty-two cards altogether. There are fifty-two cards. If you could read it right here, fifty-two cards. All right. So that's the first one. This is very interesting. It says um, there are only two numbers that you need to be afraid of in the world. One is your weight and the other one is um, your bill, like invoice, bill, bills. <laughs> and this is a, a little play on word in Chinese. So like, I think you would have to know Chinese to understand um, the thing, 
but you know, it doesn't really matter. You can read it intuitively, see what the card is trying to tell you, right? And it says like, you don't, it doesn't matter how others, others perceive you or how others are uh, seeing you, okay? How they, they look at you because nobody is looking at you right now. Like just really be yourself. This is what it's trying to say. And also because the, um, the card is actually uh, created together with a, an astrologer. So there are little like um, these astrology signs, not on all of the cards, but on some of the cards, there are astrology signs that you can also correspond to. This is like telling you to cry. Just go ahead and cry because nobody will like comfort you anyways. I know it's kind of sad because like I said, this is like the negative energy guidance, right? So um, it's trying to tell you things really directly and blunt. But sometimes we need that too. Like we can't be in a positive mood all the time. Um, sometimes we need people to be direct and blunt, right? So I think it's like an interesting take on the card. Uh, like to create a car like that, right? Over here it says, um, great things are done not being humble, okay? So you can do great things if you keep being humble. That's really interesting, especially like um, Asian people, you know, you might resonate with this a lot because we're always being taught to be humble. But like in the Western culture, it's telling, it's, uh, we're being taught to um, express yourself, be yourself, do whatever you want, okay? And if you can do it, just, you know, volunteer, go ahead and do it. So, but if you're being, you're, you're being, you know, brought up by a culture where uh, you're constantly being told to be humble, then um, this card is telling you to not be humble anymore. Go ahead and be yourself, express what you can and cannot do, and just do it, right? Over here, this is interesting because, you know, we're constantly being like bombarded by social media right now so i think this resonate with some people too like it says to see clearly who you are don't like live inside of the camera okay just like posting beautiful pictures of yourself and thinking and and like kind of living in a fantasy okay like you need to sometimes come back to reality that's what this card is telling you See, see the back of the card has some messages too because over here it says oh your pictures look better than your actual person because <laughs> nowadays we like photoshop our pictures like crazy we don't even look like us anymore right or we only put on like happy pictures of ourselves and and on social media right i mean of course there are some people that do it the opposite like they you know, talk about things that are horrible and whatever, but most of us, we post only happy things. So we always look like things are so exciting in our lives, right? All right. This is interesting. It says, are you still waiting for your boat to arrive in an airport? <laughs> That's interesting, right? You're at a wrong place, waiting for the wrong thing. This is also a really nice one. It says, I only love myself and I don't have any um, rivalry, right? Because when you love yourself, like who would love yourself more than anyone else, right? Or you should at least love yourself than anyone else in the whole world. You should treat yourself good.
This is kind of interesting too. It says an umbrella doesn't really matter. Like doesn't really protect you from a stormy, like really bad stormy night. Okay, or stormy day. It doesn't matter. Like a storm, a thunderstorm. Sometimes it's so big and bad. It doesn't even protect you from anything. So you just gotta wait it out. That's that's what I see from this card. You gotta wait it out. Like the, the umbrella doesn't do anything. Can't protect you. This is your life is the longest survival game you you'll ever play. See, I think this is interesting because like these two words in Chinese is like feeling bad or something bad is happening but I feel like but this is the, the message is I like it too it's talking about like feeling bad or feeling guilty is not a feeling of falling in love like don't mistake that as falling in love when you feel bad or sympathy about towards someone This is, kind of, this is an interesting one. It says, if you follow the fly, it will only lead you to a bathroom. <laughs> this is interesting. I think we can actually... I can do a translation in English, it will work as well. It says, at the very beginning, we always like someone to death, right? Um, or like we're, we're, or we love someone to death. And then towards the end, it's always like, the only thing that's left is death and like to death, but no more love or like, right? <laughs> This is to learn to be a bad guy, to be a bad person. Because what does it do? It, does, it says like, being a good person did, did you nothing good. This is this this one is telling you about like you're just one of the many people that they're talking to and they don't even like pin you to the top it's like whenever they remember you they'll like talk to you so don't put your soulmate on a pedestal This, I always talk to my friends, like my friends always complain to me about this. It's like the people that you like never likes you back or like you back. And the people that you don't like is like stalking you. This one I, I really like too. It says, the person that contact you first doesn't mean that they care about you. For example, um, insurance, loan company, direct marketing, or scammers. That's very hilarious. And um, I actually, for the Chinese flipper through, flip through, I read the back message 
for this one because I actually really like it. It says like, because right nowadays we are like, we are constantly checking our phone all the time. And, um, and I really like, I don't like being conditioned. Anyways, so the message over here, it says, looking at your phone, waiting for a message is a very super dangerous thing, okay? It's more dangerous. Um, they actually put over here is like going to hell then coming back, which there's a thing that they do, like a ritual that you can do in Asia or whatever but um the point is is that sometimes being passively waiting and never actively pursuing something um but they don't let them know. okay like actually well, okay what it's trying to say is that when you're passively waiting for something is not as good as just actively go and pursue something yourself right just stop waiting and so what you want to say and just send out what you want to say and then go and live your life okay and over here it says if there is something that you're you're trying to wait for a response right now ask yourself did i tell them in detail what i think what i want did i express clearly where i stand and what my boundaries are right and if you all the answers above are is affirmative is right and um then maybe you need to go and do something right now that you love doing just do something that you love okay pick one thing that you love doing and go ahead and do that and then over here it says contact the person that you wish to contact first and or actually no 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 it says the person who contacts you first doesn't always mean that they care about you the most um so whatever you want you should go and actively pursue it you need to let them know how you feel where you stand and the only thing is it says over here if they want to answer back to you it doesn't even matter who cares I mean, you can't really control if other person writes you back or respond back to you, but you, the only person that you can control is yourself. So do what makes you happy if, and say what you want to say. And, and the rest is out of your control, but at least you don't do things that, um, you're doing things that you won't regret later. I mean, unless you say something really mean, but, but you know, do things that you won't regret later on right give it a try at least you tried at least you put all of your effort out and 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 try to go for something and and that's the best you can do right Over here is like, put down your phone and go out with a real person. This one, it says, if you can control how much you eat, you can control your emotions or your feelings that's true I think it's really hard I think both are hard but you know, that's a good analogy <laughs> This is really interesting too. It's kind of harsh. You're actually the problem. You're the problem. It's like, whoa. Super direct and blunt. And that's the last card of this 52 card deck. And if you want to purchase your copy, um, just go ahead, go to the, uh, click on the link below in the description box, or um, you can go and search. If you can type Chinese, just search for this 
um, this uh, page, this fan page. All right, and that's what, uh, this is the flip through for today, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next reading. <laughs> Bye.